Hi there. This is a video where I'm going to show you how I connected my wireless wireless microphone like this uh, to my MacBook. And um, here's how this uh, works. I've actually seen about six different videos detailing different ways of doing this and uh, none of the solutions worked so I had to figure out another different way and I finally figured it out so I figured I'd make another vi video to um, show you and maybe this is the one that will work on your computer. Uh, so here's what it is. This is just a wireless microphone that um, connects to your uh, to you while you're talking and then the other part goes into the uh, camera or in this case my Mac and um, it's a radio signal between them and that's the way it goes. Well, the output of this one, if you look at it, is a mono jack and the mono jack outputs audio uh, which is distinct from outputting microphone. So actually if you take the microphone out of this uh, this actual wired microphone here, also a mono jack, but it's a different signal. Um, the microphone signal is actually distinct from the uh, wired uh, signal from the uh, from you know, the wireless signal from the other uh, box here. And um, what I had been doing was I had been using a little connector like this to connect to my Mac. Um, what it is is it's got a, a headphone or a, a headphone and a microphone jack and it's a USB. So it actually goes through the, um, it actually is like a little uh, audio driver on here. And this was working great until uh, a couple, during a couple of my lectures, uh, it just crapped out and didn't work. So not too happy with this right now. Um, but what I also knew was that on the side of my MacBook, there is a an audio port that takes a 3.5 millimeter jack like this. And when you plug in iPhone jack, uh, an iPhone headset, which has a little microphone on it, um, you can actually use it as a microphone. So I figured, well, there's got to be a way to connect my uh, audio output for my wireless mic. And this is what got went down the road to get to see all these videos, and I just couldn't figure it out. Um, bottom line, here's what you have to do, okay? Or at least here's what I had to do for this computer. You have to get a splitter jack, and all the other videos have said this as well. But this is uh, the one thing that uh, one thing that I bought. This is actually the third one that I bought. I've had to been, keep taking them apart to figure out what's going on. Um, but this one actually has notice it's not mono anymore. It's actually got. Uh, four different positions on it, the silver parts, uh, separated by three black bars. You need this, and what it is is it's got a microphone input and a headset input, okay? And if you take, at least for my Mac, this is what works, if I take the actual wired mic, let's say I have a wired mic like this, and I take the wired mic and I plug it into the, uh, the, head, uh, the odd microphone jack on this splitter, and then I plug the other side into my Mac, it works just fine. I'm doing it on this Mac and taping on the other one and so forth. But anyway, works just fine. Um, and I'm talking into this and you can see, I've actually put this at the bottom of the video, um, you can see that now it's actually working with the microphone. In fact, if I scratch it a little, you can see that it's coming through the, the microphone. Okay, And that's what you want, but the problem is if you do the exact same thing with the uh, if you do the exact same thing with the output from the wireless, uh, it actually doesn't work. Okay, so if I did the same exact thing and I plug it in and I plug this, notice that it never changed from internal microphone to external microphone. So it's something different is going on here. All right, well, uh, here's what I ended up figuring out. Okay, if you have a microphone like this, and you can plug it in and also plug in the output from your audio signal. They will both work together. So it's a little strange. Well, what does that necessitate getting? It actually necessitates getting a, another splitter. And in this case, this is a just a stereo splitter. Let's see if I can get that line that up in the count. It's a stereo splitter here that uh, allows you to, basically, if, if two people wanted to listen to their iPhone at the same time through two different headphones, you plug this in. And this is what's happening with... Um, with this one. All right, watch this. If I plug the splitter into the microphone port on here, okay, the other one's just for headset and I'm not going to use it, but if I plug it into the microphone port and then I plug a microphone into here, not the audio output from here, but a microphone into here, okay, it will work fine. Um, the thing is it has to be a stereo microphone, which means that 
this doesn't actually work. You'd think it might, but it's the wrong part of the plug. So what I ended up doing was finding another microphone. This is actually one that I had to, I found this microphone and soldered it on, but you could actually use um, another mic um, directly for this. But if you plug this mic into one of the splitter things here, and notice what I've got at this point. I've got uh, splitter for the headphone mic, and then I've got a stereo splitter here, and then I've got the microphone that's an actual wired microphone coming out of here. If I plug this in now, watch what happens. If I plug this in now, it actually does connect to or change to external microphone. And if you look here and I actually tap on this guy, you can see that it's actually collecting the signal from this microphone. Now, if I then plug in the wireless audio output into the other side of the splitter here, okay, let me do this on camera so you can see it, there we go. If I do it here into the other side of the audio, so now I've got, I'll bring this closer to the camera in a second, uh, but now I've got both in there, okay, and I turn the other one on and have the microphone attached correctly to the other one, okay. Now they both actually work, okay? And you can kind of see this if I do this, and I scratch on this or tap on this, you can see that it's working here. It happens to also be working through this one, right? You can see that it's working through this one or this one. And in fact, I found that it doesn't actually matter. If you really wanted to uh, make it so it was only coming through this one, you could maybe tape this up or put something around it that's gonna deaden the sound and so forth into this microphone. But that's how it works. Now, one thing you have to be careful with, you can't just unplug this. Notice if I unplug this and it's everything is still connected. Believe it or not, if I plug it back in, the Mac gets all confused and won't change it back to the external microphone again. Why it does that? It's just expecting a microphone input, not audio input. So again, what you do is you have the splitter attached to your regular wired mic, okay? Then you plug this into the Mac like this. And then you plug in the output from the uh, wireless mic, the actual audio output from the wireless mic, and then it actually works with both the wireless and with the wired mic. Okay, so that's how I ended up figuring out how to get it to work. Um, it does involve a bunch of parts, but finally it works. And maybe this is the way that uh, you might um, need to do it to get it to work. All right, thanks for watching.